I just love my green smoothies. Hello there. A flood tide of filth is engulfing our country and is threatening to pervert an entire generation of children. Plant-based alternatives, 100% vegan, 100% to taste. Hey, tasty, tasty, tasty. Taste exactly like fish. Why would you need to kill an animal? Do you like sushi? Yeah. To enjoy something like this when you can get amazing vegan versions. The welter of misinformation defended and foisted upon the people by a vociferous minority in our society can wreck them for life. Just say no. Not now, not ever. People who continue to eat meat and dairy, even though they know the facts, they've been educated, but they choose to continue eating animal products. Whether they actually deserve to continue living. It's like, you shouldn't have the choice. You should absolutely be forced to be vegan, or you really don't deserve to live on this planet. It's kind of scary. So what I propose is that people have they are permanent before they procreate and that men get vasectomies. All men have to get vasectomies. I've spoken extensively about the benefits of consuming semen, the minerals and the vitamins that are involved in it. It's also a natural antidepressant uh, and a mood enhancer. So there's no additives or preservatives. It's something that you can have to hand on a daily basis, excuse the pun, uh, and it's free. Wow. Eating meat creates toxic masculinity, according to a university professor. It's one of the ways in which it can reinforce existing kind of social structures, including patriarchy. Well, how does that reinforce social structures that where men dominate eating meat? Yeah, it's really complicated. He wants me to say it, damn it. <laughs> oh, go. No. Yeah. Come on. Eating meat holds um, a lot of symbolism, and it really is too much to explain in four minutes. Our insight here, you know, you get an insight and you know something, you know, but you don't want to say it out loud because you're kind of afraid that it's not going to be really true and it'll spoil the whole thing for you, you know, but when somebody makes you say it. You got it. Let's see if Joey's that smart. Get a pizza. Hi, I was just going to ask you guys a question. Um, do, do you have any cheese or eggs or any animal products in your sauce? Only in a fucking America, bro. Get real. And they can, they can tell us we're crazy. And we can say, well, you haven't seen anything yet. G-A-N. It's five fucking letters. Go fucking vegan. Leave the animals the fuck alone. Leave the animals the fuck alone. They're tired of getting raped, tortured, and murdered. Yeah, I'm saying it loud so the whole fucking world can hear me. Leave the animals the fuck alone. Leave the animals the fuck alone. You know what the animals would say to you if they could speak? Don't fucking kill me! Where'd my tooth go? Did I just fucking break my tooth? Where's my fucking tooth? Simply cannot understand why people are still eating scrambled eggs. <laughs> First time I've picked tree ripe and already off a tree before. Yeah, those tree ripened oranges, they were just absolutely awesome. The electrolytes, the minerals flowing through the system. Beautiful. And this is how I'm drinking water now, that new insight. Everything, you know, is. Oh, it must be to do with orange. Not only with orange. Oh. 
for me I I don't I can't get that I can't access that for some reason and it's so frustrating if everything around you in nature contains information and if we're able to receive that then we can raise our consciousness I, I just know in my heart that I've got to keep my body as clean as possible really clears up the eyes in the ears as well here he goes Rafi it's roaring it's a bad taste but I know I hope it's going to be good for me listen stop it get some help McDonald's wants you to give yourself a chance and so do I. I don't know whether I prefer to drink my own or somebody else's. Like, it's good bonding with friends. It's good bonding. Yeah. I've drank Ted's. I've drank mm. Ted's. Yeah. Three people here have drank each other's piss. <laughs> no. No. This can't be right. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. This is how we do. This is some real fucking humbling man shit. <laughs> no, I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about it. Yo! Elf here! I'd like to talk to you about your planet. People like that are running loose, and I'm the one who has to hide in the kitchen. Frankly, I don't understand it. We know that once a person is perverted, it is practically impossible for that person to adjust to normal attitudes. These abnormalities are corrupting the minds and the hearts of our children. We think that sexual intercourse is for procreation when it's not. You have to be vibrating at an acidic level for you to get pregnant. It is almost a miracle for you to get pregnant. You have to go against the laws of nature to get pregnant. It's a fact. It's a fact. It's a fact. That's a fact. The body rejects sperm as soon as it enters it because it's a foreign entity to the body. You have to be vibrating at a low frequency to get pregnant. That's why when you become vegan or fruitarian, the sperm cell rate goes down. The immune system gets more stronger, making it harder for you to get pregnant. I love myself, I love myself man. Love myself. Really, nigga? Film this picture, of course, speak more eloquently than I of the tremendous problem here presented. And a lot of people are like, oh, but that's unhealthy. No, no, you need your period. What's going on? You know, that's terrible. But is it? Well, a lot of people don't know. And all I can go on is my instincts and my feeling at the time that it felt good. And when our body uses our uterus and vagina as a fontanel or as fontanels, they call that menstruation. It's normal. You're supposed to do this. And I'm reminded of I don't take any supplements, and I, I, I think nature has it pretty much provided. I wonder if you know that I know he's lying right now. All right, what are we about to do? Yeah, go on. Yeah. Uh, are you in? Oh, 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 I'm such a pansy. Oh. And the reason I decided to try some injectable B12 was because uh, as some of you might know, recently I've had a little bit of uh, mental problems. I've been having hallucinations and shit. Uh, I think a lot of that is due to stress, but that is a symptom of B12 deficiency. No, it's all there in a perfect package. Fruit just gives us everything we need. All the nutrients our bodies need. I, I just, you know, experiment a little bit, adding like 20 grams of sugar to my smoothie now and then. You could use refined sugar as a tool then to sort of increase the calorie, the, the sugar density of your fruit meals. Um, sugar, lots of sugar. <laughs> Wanna put sugar on my oatmeal for sure. The best breakfast under the big top is post sugar rice curricles. So crinkly, so delicious, so different. Each grain of rice in sugar rice curricles is curricled with honey and sugar. What I am taking in the morning, I will be sticking to all of these things pretty much for the rest of my life. A lot of my supplements, I do actually buy them in bulk, in powder form. Vitamin C, made with ascorbic acid. Then I've got one of the Stress B Complex. Then we have here 
free of the phenylalanine, basically, this stuff here. Um, and then, yeah, the... Ah, uh, that's it as well. I forgot to mention, in here, there's also a gram of niacine, L-carnitine, and then creature libido, testosterone, chromium. We've got the zinc gluconate as well. Just say no! People look at our lifestyle and think that's extreme, but these people that are living on Maccas, they, they don't understand what uh, damage they're doing to their bodies. This is so ridiculous. If you eat only fruit, uh, you don't experience anywhere near as much uh, sickness as you would do if you're eating um, a standard diet. Group exposure is a hallmark of these cultists. A lot of people would look at me and think I'm skinny, uh, maybe anorexic, but that's not true at all. I mean, I eat, uh, I eat till, uh, as much as I need to. My energy levels aren't low, they're good. Uh, my mind is clear, it's sharp. I lost some teeth. A lot of children here aren't growing as fast as their peers. Mm. But would you really expect someone to grow at the same rate when someone's injecting hormones and someone's not? Yeah. It's nonsense. And then we're, we're going on average again, so. Mm -hmm. Average to healthy, two different things. That's a great answer. I love it. I think there's been a great deal of misinformation. As a parent and as a citizen, I am greatly concerned. There is nothing smart or sophisticated at all. They're just being complete fools. Anyone that would engage in this or indulge in this is just a plain fool. I'm struggling to keep up with my normal day-to-day -day activities. The little everyday things that we take for granted become almost impossible to do. Or people who don't agree with my lifestyle or the way that I eat assume that it's because of the way that I eat that is causing these symptoms. I know 100% that it's not my diet I'm having some pretty bad health problems. After I went vegan, I've basically had chronic diarrhea for the last few years. And I started realizing that my hair was getting a little bit thinner. I'm a little stuffy, congested, my face kind of hurts a little bit. My head's just pounding. I specifically just prefer to eat the diet that God originally had planned for us. I was looking in the mirror and noticed that my left bag seemed worse today. I no longer have extreme mental clarity, even when eating incredibly healthy. I have such incredible brain fog. I have lost my memory. It's so hard for me to like come up with the right words and like form sentences and like speak as, as well as I used to. Um, my digestion has been terrible lately, and and I've been having adrenal weaknesses too. I wanna I wanna rec I wanna um. I'm gonna try getting it out. I've been having heart arrhythmias. My blood sugar's been elevated, and um, I just you you know I'm hoping that it's just chemical deposits I'm getting rid of. I am seeing a lot of mucus in my bowel movements. I went from 145 down to 100 pounds. I do feel pain and stiff and just hardness right in my abdominal area. I would always just recommend you stick to a vegan, whole foods, plant-based diet. Who cares, it's a physical body. If we die, we die. Well, that's the point of this fronted little reminder. It can kill you. And if you've got to die for something, this sure as hell ain't it. Fruit for the win. Fruit for the win. No. Why are people so stupid? This I do not know. Like, and that's what's wrong with the world. There's too many people that's out of touch with reality. And I love the green juice because it goes right into my bloodstream and into my cells, and it's highly, highly alkaline. Now I come home and I get to have my green smoothie. I love the chocolate too. Mmm. I'm sorry. No. I'm so thankful I know about raw foods. It makes me feel so good. I feel so alive. I'm so hot. I'm so cool. I'm a genius. Yeah. Each time you try it, could be your last. You see this? If anyone offers you some, tell them where to shove it. Please. Be and have better sex, better health, clearer conscience. By all means, if you are a dedicated animal rights activist and vegan, I would love to lick your vegan vagina. Hi. Are you effed at night? 
I want to kiss your vegana. I want to kiss your vegana for two hours and then put my one feet pinus in your vegana. You will happy. How could you possibly say no to a request like this? Pull your pants down. Mmm. Hello, bitch lasagna. I did just get a Happy Healthy Vegans new shirt in the mail. Here is the most vicious homosexual, a sadist. I never said I liked people. I hate people. Some people say they hate people, but I really, really hate people. And I'll be dead fucking serious. I'm a sadist. I enjoy hurting people. Uh, when I just beat the ever-living shit out of somebody, I get a warm, tingly feeling inside like I'm being loved. Why the fuck should I have any respect for people? So don't get on my bad side, make some vegan gains, and be nice to animals or I'll kill you. So the only use I can see getting out of you is cutting your fucking skin off and turning you into my new fucking wallet! I fucking hate children. They literally make me sick. And when I see babies in a stroller, especially when they're crying, I just want to put my foot through the fucking thing and step on it until it's nothing but blood and pulp on the fucking pavement. There are mental problems, hallucinations and shit. And nothing is worse than the suffering and death of the animals you eat. Nothing is going to stop me from defending the animals that you harm. Don't eat animals, that is sick. I'd rather cuddle in the woods with a drunken kid. <laughs> Superman, man am I glad to see you. What are you doing on this deserted road? Foods that are not suited to our physiology, it is really causing a strain on your system causing a whole strain on your system which will eventually break down how do you feel Please, leave the animals the fuck alone. I know if it's enough, go vegan. No, not now, not ever. Bastards! Leave me 